Hey there, Eden here, and in this video I want to discuss the future of implementing agents that are actually suitable for production usage. And I'm going to discuss why autonomous agents don't really work, and I'm going to tell you what's my two cents and why I think Langraph is going to be big, and why I think it's going to be a key factor when we're going to be implementing agents in 2024. So autonomous agents projects like Baby AGI, AutoGPT, GPT Engineer, and even Devin the Engineer, they have been getting a lot of hype. However, when we actually try and use them, then we figure out that they simply don't work and all the demos that we saw are simply tailor-made into one specific use case, which is very well staged. Now, don't get me wrong, I think those projects are super important and they have a very big role in the industry when it comes to innovation and when it comes to pushing the boundaries and constantly pounding on innovation. However, currently, and in my opinion, in the near future as well, they won't be anywhere near production usage. And the reason for that may be something philosophical, is that we give in those projects to the LLM too much power. So in those projects, the LLM is fully autonomous. So that is, it's deciding what it should do. It also creates the tasks that it should do, the order of the tasks, and it even generates and executes the code of that task. So when we give too much freedom to the LLM, then this simply very quickly diverges and scatters and confuses the LLM and we're not seeing sufficient result. So basically with those projects, what is happening, then all the promises and the overhype is setting unrealistic expectations of what this technology can actually do. All right, now let's talk about how can we implement something which is more suitable for production usage and we have more control of it. So because autonomous agents are autonomous and they have full freedom, we see a paradigm shift in the industry to start and scope that freedom of the LLM. So instead of giving the LLM full freedom to do whatever they want and to write and execute whatever they want, we as developers have the ability to scope and narrow down that freedom. So we can create a flow of our execution and to actually create a state machine that we have full control of. And the LLM can play a crucial role in that flow and it can decide what it should do next, where it should go. But we as developers implemented the flow which scoped and narrowed down the freedom of the LLM. And the LLM can work inside our flow and decide what to do. So in this case, what's actually happening, we're still leveraging LLMs to perform very cool things and we're leveraging their reasoning capabilities. But when we scope those LLMs, we can actually build very cool and very interesting technology with it. And Langraph, the framework by Langchain, is actually implementing this idea of flow engineering. So let's talk about what Langraph offers and why it was created and what problem is it solving. And right here we have a diagram that the Langchain team published when they released Langraph for the first time. So this is a very nice diagram that illustrates what kind of freedom we can give to our agent. And we can see that at the very bottom, we have the autonomous agent, which is basically responsible for the entire flow to decide what output to give, to decide which tasks to perform and to even which tasks are available. And at the very top, we have here a deterministic code, which we developers decide about the output, about which steps to take and what steps are available. So this is when we write simple deterministic Python code, for example. And of course, when we write the code, we have full control and there is nothing non-deterministic. And when we incorporate LLMs into our code, then we get a bit more freedom because we can call the LLM to decide to generate some text and to use that and we can chain it. And we can even use something like a router chain to decide which steps of action we need to take. So we are gradually increasing the freedom of the LLM and what it can do in our software. Now, Langraph 
is a way for us to give even more freedom to the LLM with ability to perform cycles, which I'm not going to discuss in this video, maybe in future ones. But the basic idea here is that we're able with LangGraph to create a state machine. However, in that state machine that we create as developers and we have a full control, we can leverage an LLM to be our reasoning engine and to decide which state are we want to go next and what is the next step to perform. Because we're dealing with a state machine, then it can also have cycles in it. So for example, if we want to create a loop, maybe something similar to the React loop, we can easily do it with LangGraph in a much more elegant and cleaner and more understandable way than we would have been able to do it with LangChain. Because with LangChain, we would need it to implement this while loop ourselves, or maybe even use the LangChain's agent executor. All right, so with LangGraph, we're actually giving the LLM more power and more freedom than in LangChain, but we are scoping it, this freedom, to be more scoped than the autonomous agents that simply does what it wants and we have no control. Because in LangGraph, we have full control. And LangGraph has many advantages, but I think the best advantage I think so far is that we're able to very easily implement loops and we're able to build very advanced and complex agentic architectures with it. So for example, I shared earlier the GPT researcher that is implementing some very complicated and complex flow by Asaf Elovic. And there are many examples of leveraging LangGraph to implement those flows, like to implement a storm or to even implement a combination of advanced rag with corrective rag, adaptive rag, and a self-reflective rag. All right, and I want to finish this video with one last statement. I think that in 2024, we're going to be seeing a lot more of LangGraph and it is currently totally underhyped. I think LangGraph is the most elegant solution today at the market to implement flow engineering. And with LangGraph, we can build very advanced architectures of agents that are actually suitable for production usage. So my prediction in 2024 that LangGraph is going to go big.